madness. Everybody thinks I am mad. Well, let's agree I am mad. But in my insanity, I see a lot of wrongs. A lot of people think I am crazy. I won't be surprised if you are one of them. In your mind, you think my place is the lunatic asylum. Well, I do not blame you. Honestly, I do not in the very least blame you. In this crazy world, I must be mad to be sane. They say I don't deserve a place among the sane. Anyway, I don't even feel secure among the sane. Why should I be secured among the so-called sane minds? I lie down and see a lot of sane activities. And all I feel is total disgust at sane festivities. I see sane minds maim and kill one another. I see sane minds sit down tight in power. I wonder if I have a place in this sane world. They think I am insane because of my poverty-stricken state. They think I am insane because I refuse to steal public funds. They think I am insane because I did not forge certificates. They think I am insane because I did not use millions for renovation. They think I am insane because I did not send letter bomb to do away with my fellow countryman who wanted to expose my shield deals. They think I am insane because I did not jump bail disguised as a woman. They think I am insane because I did not convert public funds to my private accounts. If sanity is refusing to go with the crowd, I rather would remain and be drenched in the rain of insanity. Oh no, I have not finished. Let me finish, I say. Now you know that I am truly mad, not so. Like I say, I don't blame you. Like I said, I have not finished. They say, oh yes, they said it loud and clear. They say I am insane because I did not substitute virtue for vice. They say I am insane because I chose peace instead of war. I prefer to become a coward for the sake of peace. They say I am insane because I refuse to be part of a land dispute. They say I am insane because I refuse to be part of a religious crisis. They say I am insane because I refuse to be part of a tribal crisis. I became a coward because I wanted peace. They say I am insane because I did not rig myself into office. They say I am insane because I spoke against the annulment of a free and fair election. They say I am insane because I did not buy myself a chief NC title. They say I am insane because I stood up against illegality. They say I am insane because I stood up against corruption. They called me a madman because I spoke the simple truth. I told the president his anus smells. I told the president to go wash his anus before sitting with his subjects and because i spoke the simple truth they say i must be insane you you called me a madman but why the president killed a journalist and nobody said he was insane well i don't blame you the president killed the airman nobody said he was insane well again i don't blame you the president cooked up a coup and nobody said he was insane well i still don't blame you the president refused to release the results of an election in which he was a contestant nobody said he was insane well i still do not blame you the president refused to relinquish power in an election wherein he lost preferring instead to sit tight as if it is an inheritance, and nobody called him a madman. Well, I am not in any way surprised. The president hung the author calm environmentalist and nobody said he was insane, and because I, a commoner, spoke the simple truth, you courageously called me a madman. Well, I don't blame you. We are talking about the president here. They say I am insane because I talked about the country's lame economy. They say I am insane because I talked about the country's insane corruption. You draw daggers at me because I say the country is bleeding to comatose. You draw daggers at me because I say the country is suffering from lethargy and lack of political creativity. Well, well what? You want me to go on? But you yourself just called me a madman. Don't get me wrong, I am not angry at all. I accept the epitaph mad, because I must be mad to be sane in a world where you must be sane to be mad. If you still think I am truly mad, then you and I must redefine madness. Go on, ask me the simple question. Did you meet the professor? I killed my wife, Don't meet Jesus!
have children. Never will. Get out of my house! I will. But I'll be back. I said, get out! When family comes, tell him I was here. I came with his son and I have come to stay.
somebody had better find a cure to this disease. Or else, we shall all be wiped away from the face of the earth. And was she not on medication? She was, but she wasn't responding. I almost wept the day I saw her. I find it so difficult to imagine that the most vibrant to wear was urinating and defecating on her bed. Okay, okay, enough. Enough of all this mourning and weeping. And can we just get on with the business of the day now? What about your dad? And so? We can't get on with any business. She was one of us. Must we all be reminded of our state of health? You all will drive me mad if you do not talk this subject now. How come our foundation is very nice so fast? How come that she did not respond to medication? Because she stopped living the day that she was pronounced positive. Yes, she died the day that she tested positive to HIV. She was the last to join the club. Not the first to die. I have been living with this virus more than 20 years now, and I know I still have many more years to go. <laughs> Everyone who wants everything to die, if all we think and worry about is our state of health. If I must let us know, too bad you don't die every time it is. No, 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 no. The doctor said she died of an hypochondria. What does that one mean again? Hypochondria is a state of anxiety. And worry about oneself. The choice is ours. It is not that we choose life and live. Or death and die. Yeah, but nobody on our earth will want to die. And not in the manner in which she dies. So let us live. True, HIV is has no cure for now. But it can be managed like every other disease. That means she would have lived. Oh yes, she would have lived. But she lost the will to live and she died. And I tell you all, that the man dies in every man that loses the will to live. <laughs> See my friends, the future can be better. And each of us has a personal and moral responsibility to make it so. Um, director. Director, can yes. we just get on with the business of the day? Oh yes, we have a performance at that. And this is our opportunity to prove our relevance to society to theater. For now, we shall go on the recess. And when we shall come back, I shall not tolerate you to sit on my stage. Is that clear? Yes, sir. Let us put in our very best and give the world something that made them begin to use our brains. Instead of their wrongs. Something that made them think. For now, Five minutes break.
still a poor man. You just study yeah. travel. This is not work and no play, Mr. Kito. All the same. You've been playing all day. It's that time we go down to work. I'm tired. How can you be tired? <laughs> we must even start an hour over. You came late. Would you mind if I teach you some songs? I will lose my. But that will be some other time. You don't hear my songs. I don't want to. You have to like my dance steps. <laughs>
one go. I mean it. And why we even argue over something that doesn't even concern us? It does, Abel. It concerns us. If this family continues like this, look at us all day. You and I will kill because we did nothing to stop the crisis. I will not be killed. I know I'm taking care of myself. And I still maintain that this crisis does not concern us. If that's your opinion, how high do you defend me? As I am former Berlin born. Would that be part of that story? It should be electrified to electrocute whoever pushes it. Now, let's get out to work. Make sure we can finish later. Let us start first. <laughs> What's the matter? My daughter's. What about it? It's blunt. <laughs> well, you want to converse yourself, bro? I mean, talk to him about it, and I do not know that I want to converse. Why are you so dumb? You go for it then. I don't have a foul. Did you lend me yours? Dad. Okay. I'm being fussed about it. But won't you rest him out? Then you don't want to ask anything. But the sun is up, and you can't work on that sun. Ah! The sun! Like this, you don't want to do anything. You have deliberated. On what? My dad wants to play. I don't put food on our table. Were you talking to us? No. What were you eating? I was just food to Get out!
just get out of starvation. This is what I want to die, better not to die. And that's a tough one for this suicide. At least a better way to rest. <laughs> but you two best survive before rest. I'm seeing things in Bell. Oh. I am seeing things invisible. I am beginning to see things with my heart. I have just discovered an important truth. It is only with the heart one can see things clearly and rightly too. What is essential is invisible to the eye. The birds, the fishes. Have you ever considered the birds of the and fishes of the water? What about them? They have no parents, except they live and feed for themselves. You better get up and walk if you deserve to. It's not necessary. My needs are provided according to his riches. <laughs> Anymore. I don't know about that. But for my wife's sake, I'll remain on the grass. See, you are wasting time. Our procrastination will be lost. No! You don't understand. What is there to understand? I killed my wife in the moment of our gap. See, the evil again. Take it us back one. That's like the same way. Ah. What goes round comes round. How can the mom be so in despair about life? Cry out loud. Life itself does not seem to make any meaning. Oh, I don't want to live anymore. I've decided against that. So, this is the moment you want to come to decide. I'd rather be a living dead. Ah. I'm not that much. No, this is not madness. This is simply stupidity. Madness, stupidity, same thing. They are not the same thing. I know they are blind. <laughs> but you are the top. Get your bottom man. Please right. help me. Help you do what? Take my life, kill me. Ah! Did 
she dead? I don't know. What do you mean, don't know? I don't wish to talk about my past. <laughs> Ever, you're my friend. I said I don't want to talk about it. Why don't you talk about your past? I don't want to talk about it now. But why? Tell me, bro. I don't want to talk about it. You don't have to shout. Tell me. I will shout. Tell me. You hear me? Tell me. Why can't you just leave me alone? Tell me. Is it right to talk about it? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> 
First things first. The vowel sound. A, E, E, O, U. A, A, E, E, O, U. Again. A, E, E, O, U. Very good. I, K, E, I, I, K, E, I, K, E, I, I, K, C, H, A, O, S. Chaos. C, H, A, O, S. Chaos. S, I, T, suit. S, U, I, T, suit. S, I, T, E, sweet. S, U, I, T, E, sweet. Q, U, A, Y, K, Q, U, A, wait a minute. This is one of the problems I have with English language. What's that? You mean Q, U, A, Y. And K E Y have the same pronunciation. Yes. Why the difference in spellings? Well, I did not know. Uh, the English language is converged on that one. Oh, I see. A case of many cooks. Is that why the W? No, who you? Is that why the W in writing silent? See, W is a consonant. It's a silent consonant in that word. We have uh, so many of such words like uh, bomb, sin, I, Charlie. Etc. So why write these consonants when they're meant to be silent in the first place? I mean, why can't you spell honor as O R N O R or women as W I M I N? I mean, spelled as pronounced. I did not read eh? See, see, it has become our lingua franca and it's the world most popular language. And like zombies would accept it. Can we continue with our lesson? I'm at your service, Mr. <laughs> Next, the speech base. Say red lorry, yellow lorry, three times fast without laughing. Red lorry, yellow lorry. Red lorry, yellow lorry. Red lorry, yellow lorry, lorry, lorry. See, now practice taking it slowly. Red lorry, yellow lorry. Red lorry, yellow lorry. Red lorry, yellow lorry. Red lorry, yellow lorry. That's a very good. That's a lesson for you. In this life, you don't have to be in a hurry. And always remember that little by little, the bird builds its nest. Think about it. Mm. Uh, little by little, little by little, the bird builds its nest. Very good. Now, I'm um, listening to this poem. Title. Hey, just a minute. Where yeah, are you going to? I'm going to the classroom to become one of your students. Okay. The feeding fever. Basking in the foyer of the bathroom. Shouting. Jumping. And run on the
over again. The world was over again. And everyone was filled with gold. Suddenly, the heaven of the human world was chaotic. Suddenly, this chaos was that of victory. People talked about the unusual event. People discussed at the same time. And suddenly, the human world was, was normal again. Yes, I try. Let us allow our conscience to begin to. 
Rikos! Yes! And that time is now. Or the last funeral be that of your children to get Yes! I don't like that. Yes. Ah, God! Yes. And then what about the baby? Ah, uh, him. As my son, I have always told you to mind your business. But, but Dad, Dad, this is also my business. Huh? I see a lot of wrongs. A lot of people think I am crazy. I won't be surprised if you are one of them. In your mind you think my place is the lunatic asylum. Well, I do not blame you. Honestly, I do not in the very least blame you. In this crazy world, I must be mad to be sane. They say I don't deserve a place among the sane. Anyway, I don't even feel secure among the sane. Why should I be secured among the so-called sane minds? I lie down and see a lot of sane activities and all I feel is total disgust at sane festivities. I see sane minds maim and kill